Hello friends, this is Frank from Germany. I'm again proud to present my short project, but I'm sure this is the next revolution. Okay, what is the XTC? Extremely simple automatic tool changer. Okay, enjoy this video session. First some theory and then you will see the magic. If you want to use an ATC, short for Automatic Tool Changer, then you will have a lot of money. Here are some examples for a do-it-yourself CNC machine. The first one cost around $2,300, too much for a hobby project. The second, it's some cheaper, but hey friends, $1,700 for a spindle? No, never. Okay, here I found a cheap spindle with ATC, just 700 bucks. Seriously, that's uh, too expensive. Okay, here's my goal. For my X Displays project, I realized I need an ATC because that's the only one manual process at the end of this project. If I found a solution, my dream come true that I can build a complete PCB in a complete automatic process. I guess I found a solution for this issue for only, tata, 50 bucks. But first of all, we need more control over our spindle. I need a spindle controller. He drives the spindle forward, backward and can read the actual current. Also, I need a kind of break that will immediately stop the spindle motor. This DC motor driver comes from Paul Lulu and his some nice features. We can measure the actual current and rotate the DC motor forward or backward. A simple but nice feature, we can control the speed in both directions and can break the spindle immediately. I wrote a small program with the name XTC controller to control all features from driver via a serial console. This combination of Arduino plus DC controller can only handle up to 24 volt. But we need a controller he can handle up to 50 volts. I spent a lot of hours to find a solution for our CNC 3040 and I found this here. I don't know if we can use all the current sense, but I guess we can use an additional breakboard with an easy readable chip to read the current. But first of all, I want to show you my XTC console program. This small program will control the DC controller. The comments are easy. You can send help and you get all possible comments. The first one are forward and backward. This comments understand the speed parameter from 0 to 400. A second parameter, you can give the time in milliseconds. Okay, an example. You want to drive the spindle forward with full power, but only for one second. Please input forward space 400 for forward and maximum power and a second parameter 1000 milliseconds. Here is the result. Another very nice comment are break or BR key. That's an active break. Okay, we drive our spindle with full power and after that we break this with a break comment. Cool, huh? Now comes a real cool thing. With LEV for level, we can set the level of current. You start the spindle and try to stop with your hand. The current will go up. If the current higher as a level, the spindle will stop immediately. Why we need this? Well, wait a minute. Tim stays for time and lets the motor stop after some milliseconds. In example, backwards 200, Tim 500, lets the spindle rotate backwards and break after 500 milliseconds. 
Debug are for debugging. You can start and stop a logging for all parameters. You will see every 250 milliseconds the actual data from the DC controller. Now I want to present the holder for the tool socket. Here you see all my tries. I designed this holder with Fusion 360, a very cool program. Awesome. Maybe I will make a video session about this great piece of software in the future. To produce this holder, I use the website 3dhubs.com. It's easy to upload your design as STL file and choose a friend not so far from you and he print this for some bucks. I have to say a big thank you to Jan. He produced my prototype as he fast as he can and in a very good quality. To build a platform for this holder are easy. Get a piece of MDF and mark the holes for some screws on the right position. Drill some holes for M5 screws and screw this platform on the aluminium profile. Now we can first glue our holders to this new platform. I use my favorite double glue tape and put a small piece on the downside of every holder. We need a very accurate position for every holder. Put a broken end mill in your spindle collet, home your machine and move the machine to every position you like. I note all the position in my notebook. As my CNC3040 was delivered, I found an end mill with a cut diameter of 3.175 mm. This end mill we can use to make the holder end mill hole more accurate. Use a drill press and drill this hole. After drill we can compare the outside diameter with a broken end mill shaft. I call it this little white plastic preposition thing stopper. You see, that's only a millet piece of POM or Darin. This material is easy to mill and can handle temperature up to 200 degrees. You have to measure very accurate the outside diameter of your collet nut and use this as inside diameter plus 9.1 millimeter. After that, we can press, maybe with a vise, this stopper to our collet nut. Now began the hard work. To find the perfect parameters for the XTC was dreadful. My setup was interesting. I use a macro to process all steps and this watch the position of the machine. At specific positions in XYZ an event will happen. In example, rotate the spindle or screw the collet and so on. The Chrome debugger helps me a lot and I love it. You can add some breakpoints and change the parameter at one time. The first time I do only dry tests. That's more easy for me to watch the spindle and so on. On this dry tests I realized I have to screw the holders on this MDF platform. Okay, drill some holes and do it. The problem, after that I need again the accurate position. You then screw it end mill and move the machine to the first holder. Last but not least, a trick to hold the collet vertical inside of the hollow spindle shaft. I use a simple spring load and screw this together with the collet nut. Here is it, my best moment since a month of hard work. The first successful tool change. Friends, I'm so happy. Enjoy this moment with me together.
So friends, this was a hard work for the last one and a half months and I hope you like it. Um, I think um, the next video session I want to explain everything about the software, the microcontroller, also uh, how can I inside uh, uh, in this chili pepper software and how can I uh, fire up this event to have a tool change. So, but I need some time, it's summertime and um, yeah, I hope um, you enjoy it and um, maybe I think in one, two or three weeks uh, the next video session will upload. And please friends, um, spread the word, yes? Please share this video with all your friends or in the social networks. I'm very happy to see uh, everybody can use this ATC. Also, I want to add a boom list, a bill of material list uh, in the XTC GitHub. You see this um, in the video description uh, on YouTube. Yes, what can I say? Have a nice day and don't speak about it. Do it, right? Bye.